Coach, if you'll start us with a uh, statement, we'll take questions from there. Okay, well, thanks for being here. Uh, they told us if we get to the airport the next few minutes, we can get out. If not, we're going to be here a couple days. So trying to hustle and get to the airport. But um, great senior class. They had 85 of their 95 points. So great senior class. I'm looking forward to that day because we have no seniors and one junior. So uh, but they've had a great game. And uh, so um, you know, congratulations to all their seniors. But, you know, they have a lot of experience and, like I said, a great senior class and, and everything. So, uh, you know, they got a great team. Questions? Is that the best backcourt you've seen in the nation? No. Who is? No. They're good. They're good. But we've seen others, too. Who? Okay. Uh, who, who have you seen? Well, who's the ranked, top ranked teams in the country? Okay. You know, you pick out two or three of those and, uh, you know. But it's great. There's no doubt. They're probably... Uh, top probably five, six, something like that. But there's some other other great ones too. So, uh, but they're they're good. There's no doubt about that. And they were they were great today. They might have been the best in the country today. You know, so because uh, career record. I mean, how can you go against that? So, uh, but again, you gotta understand. You know, I got eight freshmen and three sophomores and one junior. So we probably made them look pretty good. He talks about uh, the seniors who scored a lot, but. Their defense did cause you trouble. What kind of trouble did it give you guys during the game? Well, again, you know, the size and their experience, uh, you know, because they're, they're veteran players, you know, and they uh, were pressing us and trapping us to the end, you know. I mean, all the way till, you know, they had, I mean, I, you know, so they, they stayed all, all on us the whole game. So, but. Brittany Sykes got to the line a lot. I think she saw, shot about 17 free throws. Um, she seemed really aggressive. How would you have liked to defend her differently? Well, she goes to the right all the time. She goes to the right, you know. You just got to overplay and not, not let her have that. So, And, again, my you know my young kids, we went over that and we talked about it and everything. But, you know, she just kept coming off screens up there at the top and, yeah. and going to the right. So, you know, you, you got to have veteran players out there enough that know how to stop that. You know, we tried to trap it some, and that didn't work. But, uh, you know, she's a great player. I mean, there, no doubt she's probably uh, going to be a candidate for an All-American. But, uh, but as long as she can go to the right, she's unstoppable. A little longer handshake than normal, uh, we noticed at the end. Any, anything you said to Coach Hugh? Uh... No, I've known him a long time. We just had a conversation. Syracuse was uh, kind of diversifying a lot of its presses, especially after a made basket. Um, did one did one press, whether it was a zone press, a man press, did one of them give you more uh, troubles than, than the other one, or was it just the fact that they kept changing them? No, I mean, we're, we're young and inexperienced back there. We, we made it look good. I mean, you know, you look at the teams they played at Duke the other night, uh, you, know, uh, you know, some of the other teams that have not had problems with their press, you know, but those are the teams that had, you know, veteran players, you know, uh, like Lexi Brown, you know, different, different ones like that. We, we don't have anybody like that. So uh, we, we probably made it look even better. It was good. There's no doubt it was good, but we probably made it look even better. You know, they're tough here. This is a hard place to play. This is what, 12 games in a row? that they've won here. 18. So they're, they're, they're 18. how many? 18? Well, some guy that interviewed me the other day said they'd won 11 in a row. That's this season. And then oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So Why whoever. do you think that is? I mean, it's not like it's packed 20,000. Well, people. all I know is, you know, we've been shooting three really good, and we started out, you know, we didn't, I think we had one or two at halftime maybe, threes, and we usually shoot the three really well. So, uh, but, you know, so, uh, but but this is, uh, you know, it's it's a, uh, uh, it's a tough place to play, but, you know, so is Cameron, <laughs> you know. I mean, I've played, them, played in them all, you know. You don't, you know, you just play. You know, it's court the same size, ball the same size, rim the same size, you know. But the, the only thing different is veteran players and experience and that type of thing. Bigger picture question. I mean, you played SU last year when they got on the run. You, you played Notre Dame earlier this season. SU plays Notre Dame next week, hoping to obviously, you know, build some momentum for the tournament. Where is this SU team in your eyes right now? Is is compared to maybe last year or compared to Notre Dame? Where where do you see Q having this team right now? Well, it's again, it's well, he's they definitely have the experience. You know, like I said, when eighty five of their ninety five points come from their seniors. I mean, they probably are one of the most experienced teams in the country, without a doubt. You know, but again, we 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 made them look good, and I think you know when other other teams are able to handle the, handle their pressure, you know, it's a 
sort of high risk, high reward. They either get steals and get shots or the other team gets layups, you know. And we're just not experiencing veteran enough to do that yet. You know, so. doesn't seem quite to be what it was last year. But you mentioned experience. You think, you know, Day, Peterson, Sykes, is, is that enough to make a run? Like maybe they, they had last year. What, what's your perspective on uh, that? It could be. It could be. It just depends how, you know, they've got, I mean, they've got the tools and they've got the leadership and they've got the experience. They've got everything, you know. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see them there again. And your thoughts about Notre, you know, playing Notre Dame next week? Yeah, they Notre tough. Dame. What, Notre Dame's very tough. Yeah, so yeah. Notre, Notre Dame's tough. I mean, you know, they can score. Shots that we missed tonight and the rebounding, you know. I mean, gosh, they beat us 20 rebounds, you know. And not, that's not going to happen when you get a, a big team with Turner in the middle, you know, because we don't really have any size, you know, really. I mean, the three post players I do have are all freshmen. And uh, so we, when you, you get another team in there with a, a team like Notre Dame, it, it'll be a different ball game. What do you think they'll come down to? Uh, well, um, I think probably guard play will, will, will be big there. But also, uh, you know, Turner inside, how she plays against the days. And, uh, you know, I think probably shooting. Speaking of kind of the rebounding battle, uh, Isabella Slim for SU gets two fouls, three fouls early. She gets subbed out. They bring in both day sisters at the same time. How does that change kind of like the defensive and the rebounding set for you guys when they bring in both like their two tallest players? Well, um, you know, both of those are really good. They're athletes and they're really good rebounders. Uh, you know, and you know, know them pretty well, you know. I mean, you know, one's a little, little better than the other, you know, and the offensive skills are a little bit different. But, you know, they're just ferocious rebounders. I mean, they're just tenacious rebounders. So if there's shots missed, they go clean it up, and they do a great job at doing that. So, you know, that's, uh, again, a double, double duo in there, and, and they're, they're really tough. You know, and again, like I said, there's just there's no substitute for all the experience they had on the floor, you know. I mean, you know, I had three freshmen out there lots of times, and maybe one junior and, you know, sophomores, and then they, you know, they can put five, four or five seniors out there. Coach, how many different uh, looks did you give Brittany? It seemed like you had a couple different Yeah, we, we did two or three different things, uh, you know, to try to, to slow her down. But, uh, you know, w once she got the ball at the top and got some screens, she's really good at coming off those screens, and that's where she scored. She was able to turn the corner and go to her right all the time. And, you know, she was just getting layups off of that because my big kids, you know, they couldn't get over there fast enough. And, uh, and like I said, we just couldn't keep her going to, from, to the right side. All right. Thanks, everyone. Good. All right. It's 80 degrees in Chapel Hill today. Here we go. <laughs> it's like 95 here. in there. Y'all can stay here. I'm going back to God's country. <laughs> that was 80 degrees. Mm -mm. So thank you.